Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick review on the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. Now this is from their second holiday collection. They did a line with Sephora where they came out with the semi-precious and the golden state of mind palette. I did pick both of those palettes up and actually have already returned them because for some reason I wasn't a huge fan of having all shimmery palettes and yeah I feel like it's definitely a trend right now. I saw Kevin Aquan is coming out with an all shimmery palette and there's just so many of them on the market but I just feel like when you mix textures you just really get such great value because then you have so many different looks in a palette so that's my personal opinion but I do want to swatch this palette for you guys and give you guys some of my thoughts on the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette so if you guys are interested just keep watching. Now if you are new to my channel I just want to say welcome my name is Karen Harris I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me I hope you will consider subscribing so you you can keep up with all of my new videos and if you don't just you know thank you so much for stopping by if you want to just give this video a thumbs up so I know you're enjoying my videos and of course if you have questions or comments or brilliant insights I always encourage you to go ahead and comment down below I love talking to you guys I love meeting makeup enthusiasts and let's be real if you are watching youtube and you find my little channel it's probably because you've been watching youtube for like the last two hours and you've been going through all these different channels checking out different reviews so it's exciting stuff and uh, i'm so happy you're here so i'm gonna stop blabbering now and get into this review video okay so i feel like everyone starts a color pop review or any kind of color pop haul video or anything to do with color pop these days and it's like oh my gosh when is ColourPop gonna quit? I swear, I got this palette in the mail and then Black Friday happened and they launched that little six piece palette on Sephora.com and then Black Friday happened and I was like, wait a second, there's a new ColourPop palette. They just came out with a palette called Double Entendre for Black Friday. So of course, me being the eyeshadow palette junkie that I am, I had to buy it. Then all their palettes went on sale for like 20%. Now they're on sale for 30% and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I just paid full price and shipping for the Double Entendre palette and if I had just waited two days, I could have gotten it for way cheaper. So that kind of pisses me off, but I'm like, you can't be that mad because ColourPop is really so affordable so you know that's something to keep in mind is there are so many sales happening right now and Christmas is only a month away so if you want to buy some of these palettes and you are hesitant just wait for a sale it's a way to get an even cheaper palette for even cheaper which who doesn't love a good bargain you know I get you guys so I got double entendre and now I see that they're coming out with a collaboration with Kathleen Knights and I just am on this like kick where I want to buy every ColourPop eyeshadow palette because I feel like now I have like this collection that I've started but recently I kind of talked about not wanting to support Kathleen Lights and it just like pains me because ColourPop is such a good company and they have just had such a long-standing relationship with Kathleen Lights that I do appreciate that they didn't just like drop her but it also kind of like bothers me because ColourPop hasn't really been on my shady company list but I'm like you know you guys have always been pretty good about catering to diverse skin tones and you know just being so affordable and seeming like such a great company but after like that stuff that happened with Kathleen Lights I feel like you know it would have been good if they like distanced themselves from her because I feel like you know sometimes it's like your actions do have consequences Kathleen Lights and you know you might lose a few endorsements or some collabs that you've had because it's kind of a shitty thing that you did but let me know how you guys feel obviously I don't you know personally feel like I was affected by her comments but I feel like it still is something that we should call attention to because nobody should say the n-word and feel like they have the right to say it and like yes you can apologize but you're still a public figure and I don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way I was just very like upset by her especially her because she comes off as such a sweet person which made me question like her whole internet persona I feel like she definitely comes on camera as an actress 
and we just saw like a little piece of her true personality so I don't know maybe someday I'll wake up and I'll be like you know it's fine like it, I'm over it but right now I just feel like no you shouldn't have said that and it sucks that all these brands like are still like wanting to be affiliated with you and it seemed like nothing really happened to you your nail polish brand is still doing well you're still pushing your sister's jewelry line like I feel like life went on for Kathleen Lights after a couple after a couple of days. So I don't know. Tell me how you guys feel. Tell me if I'm totally like off base here and I'm just like spewing bull crap. I would really like to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, so uh, back to this palette. This palette is $20, so it's a little bit more than the regular ColourPop palettes, which are usually like the $16 mark, but you do get three other shades in this palette. So you get 15, whereas in the other palettes, you only get 12 shades. So usually I do a swatch party video, but I have been so busy with the holidays, I didn't even get a chance to sit and film a swatch party video, and I thought it would be really pointless to do a swatch party video and then do a review even though I had already played with this palette, so I figured I would just test it out for a little while and then just give you my review and swatches. So let's get into me swatching this palette without blabbering. God, I could talk forever. I'm just gonna go down the road this way. I feel like once I just looked at this now that these are almost like little um little tri uh, tri triplets or like little like these could almost like be a look so these are their first three shades that I swatched in the palette let me see if I can figure out what the shade names are so I'm going to assume this is called top notch and then we have pitter patter and never never super pretty shades these are like so holiday appropriate I mean like honestly can you go wrong with a good burgundy shade I actually did use this shade on my outer corner it's like really the only one that you can use to smoke out your outer V or your lower lash line because all the other shades are like very shimmery or transition type shades the shade is really beautiful it has a intense gold flip to it but when you look at it in the pan it's just like a white shade um, this is a beautiful like green gold and then this is a beautiful peach color so hopefully you guys can see that and let me give you the shade names we have treat yourself wishful winking and imperial so those are the next three shades okay so now i'm going to swatch the middle row and i'm just going to switch hands here just to give myself a little break so we have oh some shimmers here and then the last shade is like a beautiful mauvey shade it might be kind of hard for you guys to see that because it's so close to my skin tone but you know that's just how it's gonna be so we got 1111 which is that first shade something special which is a gorgeous like purpley uh it's beautiful and then that last shade is a mauvey shade called teacup um, and I just can see myself doing a really beautiful look with these two shades. Oh my gosh. Just put this all in the crease and then this all over the lid. Just looks like a really beautiful set of shades. Now this is the shade I used as my brow bone highlight today. And then this is the shade I'm wearing on my lid. And I believe I used this one in my crease today. So my fourth roll was very loved today. And there are the swatches, so let me give you the names of these shades. We have Now and Zen, Twinkle Toes, and Big Spoon. Super, super pretty. And now I just have one more row, so let's go ahead and swatch the last row, which are like all kind of neutrally shades right here. And how much do you guys love this cardboard packaging? I personally think it's so lightweight it's like why not I hate having bulky packaging so here I just swatched it on my hand to give you guys a nice close look at these shadows we have go wish Tinseltown and save it for later so right there are the shades that I swatched super duper pretty eyeshadows I love this I mean it's such a perfect like holiday palette how can you ever find anything bad to say <laughs> about these shadows I just feel like they're such a great price point you get so much variety I was gonna grab the other eyeshadow palettes that I have from Colourpop and I'm like honestly you guys are probably sick of me talking about the older ones because I've had them for longer 
Um, but I feel like at some point I'm gonna have to stop buying every single palette they come out with too because like honestly it's it's just too much and I'm never gonna get through them all so who knows who knows we'll see what the future holds but um, now that I did the swatches I want to hop into a little demo where I show you guys how I created this look so this is what the inside of the palette looks like now you guys know when I usually film these I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for but I have used this palette a few times this week so let's just start off with the brow highlight and I've been using this one shade let me show you guys this one right here I believe it has a little bit of a sheen to it which is nice because um, sometimes I had mentioned in some of the ColourPop palettes I can't really find like a brow bone highlight with a sheen so I've already set and primed my eyelids so I'm just gonna dive right in so I highlighted my brow bone and then I like to go in with a transition shade and let's use this one right here because it looks like a fun tangerine kind of color and let me dust it off here and then I'm just going to place that into my crease. Now this is a MAC 224 brush. I picked these up when they were on sale at Macy's. I've never really owned MAC brushes before and honestly they were a little bit out of my price range but when they went on sale for half off I decided to scoop some up because why not it was my chance I think MAC is gonna redo all of their brushes and they're coming out with artificial hair brushes these are or like synthetic hair these are is it animal hair I don't even know what these ones are but uh, this one is slowly becoming one of my favorite blending brushes. I do feel like I've already worn it out a little bit uh, because I do constantly use it. But it is a nice brush. So good for me. And if you are looking for a good blending brush, I would recommend the MAC one. So this is a nice bright shade. It's really opening up my crease. And now I want to darken up the outer V and this is my favorite brush to use in the outer V. It's the Morphe M443 brush and in this palette there is a really beautiful like burgundy or virgin shade and I'm going to use it for the job. So I'm just dipping in and dusting it off and I like to place it right here in the corner and just swivel this brush around. It has like a perfect tapered little um, bristles and it just fits right in my eye socket there and I just wiggle the brush around and it automatically just darkens everything up for me which is so awesome and then I like to drag it inward a little bit but usually about like halfway in I don't like to darken up the whole crease so I just go in about halfway point and I just love how dramatic it looks I feel like I'm doing the same eye look with all of my palettes these days because they all have like these great wintry shades. Now I'm just going back in with the MAC 224 and blending those two colors together which I think looks really good and all I do now is foil the lid. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I do that. So I've really been loving using the ColourPop Priming uh, Water is in here and I just use that to foil and I'm just gonna spray this Sonia Kashuk brush very generously with some of it and dip into which color should I go on with the lid I feel like I've wanted to do the green forever so let's just do that I wore it on my lid yesterday and I really like how that look turned out Sometimes I like to use this with like a glitter glue as well, but I honestly feel like when I did my Element of Surprise palette review, I just used the ColourPop priming spray and it foiled really well, and it is today too. So you can see, I don't usually wear shades like this on my lid, but when I'm just at home filming, I'm like, why not? Let's get crazy. This eye got a little bit out of control, but I will fix it. Just need to grab this brush and blend, blend, blend. You guys know 
I'm trying to use up some different colors in my life and switch things up. I feel like this could use like a glitter or something or maybe something on the inner corner. I'm holding the Becca Brisky Glow Palette. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the shade Icicle in the inner corner. It's like this beautiful blue highlighter shade. And I like that. And I think I'm going to blend some of that on the lower lash line as well. It's a very wintry, dramatic eye look. For sure. But I wanted to try something different. So I'm going to finish this makeup look and be right back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little demo. I always love filming demos because it gives you such a good idea of the palette's performance. Now, ColourPop is made in the USA. I'm sure you guys have heard that a million times. This particular palette comes with 20 shades. We have a mix of metallics as well as matte shades. And I think you just kind of have everything you need. There's one, two three, four, five, six matte shades and the rest are more metallic. There is this one shade in here that has a little bit of a shimmer but it's very, very slight. So I would still put that in the matte category but I just think what a great present for a beauty lover or if you're a beauty lover yourself. This is an awesome fall palette and I just, I just can't stop buying ColourPop shadows and I would honestly recommend any of them to you guys. This is like a great in between a neutral and like a fun palette because there are still some crazy shades like this greeny blue shade is the one I'm wearing on my lid. Not something I would wear on a daily basis but I figured since I was filming I would try and do something different. I don't think I have anything else to say to you guys. Honestly, I would recommend this palette if you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you glad you picked it up or do you feel like it's something you could have passed on? I personally have no self-control with ColourPop right now, so it's kind of a problem. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you did find this video useful and you did learn something from it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.